All right, welcome back. I'm heading out to do one of the big, thick yards, tall, thick grass. And what I want to do, I want to do an experiment here. I got a tip from Countryside, New York. Um, what he had done on his X marks is he took this deflector thing off. I've got it loose there. It wasn't actually just loose. I've got it started. And um, he says that that um, increases the amount of spray um, dispersion or distance or something. And uh, when you when you take that off, now you can see there, all it's really doing is blocking the back of the uh, chamber, and I believe that is to send all the grass to the front. And then it, because uh, I can see on the slow motion that most of the grass comes out of the front of the chute here. It like sends it all to the front, and then off of the front right there, and then sprays out. But he says, you take this thing off it'll spray out the whole thing all together which already it sprays a good 10 feet but um, this uh, may make it spray even farther so this might be good so let me take this off and see what that looks like all right there we go that's what it looks like so now we've got the opening is just absolutely immense now I don't know how many feet that is but it's at least a foot and a half. You can see there. Uh, this should be pretty interesting. Of course, there's a chance that it's going to do worse somehow. So I'm going to make sure that I bring this with me with the wrenches that I need to put it back on if I need to. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to explain what I'm doing there and we'll see what it does. Let's uh, drive on out there. All right, here we are. And you guys have probably seen this one before. Some of you guys have been sub for a while. And you probably recognize this angle right about here. And yeah, it is grown up every time. He's just one that calls every once in a while, which doesn't bother me a bit. Because it's I like I don't really like mowing the tall stuff. But uh the county has come in and mowed this front section here. Unfortunately. I'll go over it again just to clean it up, but they robbed me of that. <laughs> but there's plenty left. There's so much here. So many neat angles that I can film. Like, look at this here. And as much as I've filmed this one before, there's a lot of sections of it that I did not film. I think to start out, I am going to put the camera right about here to film this. Of course, we're testing that new deflector, missing deflector thing. We'll see how that goes. So, anyway, I'm on a fresh oil change and anxious to get started. So, let's do it.
Okay, well this is going really, really well. I mean, look at that. That is, uh, I did, I cut that part twice. But areas like over there, I cut only, oh, I'll go over here. What I gotta say, taking that deflector off is just giving the cheetah just crazy capability. I mean, all this right here is one pass, and you saw how tall it was. Just striping it like normal. Just crazy. Over here was a bit thicker, so I went over it a couple of times. And if you saw me slow down, there was a big ant hill there. But I had to go to the truck to change cameras. Getting ready to tackle the uh, septic tank. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. That's some thick stuff right there. Hey, yeah, look at this. So that is even, oh, it's past my knee. This, this some thick stuff here. Oh yeah. And then it thins out a little bit here. But now that, over there, that will be something to look at. Anxious to do that. Anxious to do that. I'm not having to slow down much. I gotta say something, Randy. Good grief, that was a good idea, taking that deflector off. It is shooting about two feet farther, so I'm shooting about 12 feet. But it's dispersing it. It's not all in one space. It's dispersing it over, like, three feet, three, three feet by 12 feet. Anyway, this is what I was getting to. I don't know what this stuff is, but it is about this high. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is up to my chest. I don't know what it is, some kind of sawgrass, but I'm gonna shoot all that in slow motion. And that is going to be, again, something to look at. By the way, if anyone's curious, the name of my lawn service is not something to look at. That's just the name of my channel. My lawn service is just my lawn service. But anyway, that's one of the things coming up. Now, last time I was here, I didn't film this whole back area, and I'll set up the GoPro to catch that. And also, way over there, there's some ground cover that's pretty neat to mow. I'll show that in a second. And I didn't, I never film the back part of the backyard there. And that will be, I'm not going to say it. Anyway, get back to work.
I just got to pause here for just a moment and say, hey, man, is that fun? I <laughs> mean, yeah, that's what it's all about, guys. Just like Ring Lawn Care says, if you're not having fun, I'm not sure exactly, I can't remember what he said, but basically, you got to have fun. All right, so septic tank. Alright, so well, there are limits to everything. As you saw, it getting bunched up there in the chute. When you're talking about a chute that big, you know, that must have been some serious grass. And the problem was, if that had been Bahia, it would have flown right out, or even St. Augustine, but it was this stuff called um, Bermuda. And Bermuda is the stuff on a golf green for putting. And, uh, how it got out here, I don't know, but when it grows, it's, you know, it's supposed to grow up to like one inch and be mowed at one inch. When it's at two feet, it just doesn't mow that well. But you go over it enough times and it will look nice. Yes, indeed. Okay, moving on. We got this backyard here. This I've never filmed. I think because I ran out of room last time. It's time. And so we're gonna we're gonna film this now. Okay, so we're moving on to this area here. This is a real neat area because you got this ground cover here. Let me get closer there to show you. It mows really neat. It mows kind of like St. Augustine. And there's a bunch of it here. And I got to go through there really quick, make sure there's not anything in there. But then we will mow that.
Okay, time to do the big one. I gotta check to see which setting is gonna be the best one. Because you got medium and you got super view. Looks like medium will do it. Alright, let me set up the tripod and we'll do it. Get that, it actually striped, sort of. Tell you what, this yard's coming out looking pretty good. Okay, so it is looking really good. Getting ready to mow the last section right here. I'm going to use the GoPro for that. And that's the section right there. That's going to be the shot. It's mostly Bahia, so I think that I can go over it a few times to make it look really good. So let's do that. <laughs> And that about does it for the mowing. And uh, so I'll just trim it up and then leave. All right, so I normally don't, I don't uh, film the trimming too often, but this particular time I will in slow motion.
Well, I don't know. This looks like a pretty safe area. Okay, and here is the final, final shot. As you would never know, it was as tall as it was. But in conclusion, I've got to say, you know, if you guys, if y'all have that extra deflector, the thing that I took off right there, if you have that and you run into situations like I have, like I was mowing today, and you have any issues at all with it not spraying properly, just take that deflector off. It works really good. You gotta do a special shout out to Countryside New York. Uh, yeah, go on over there. I'll put his link down in the description. He's just a wealth of information. That was a really, really good idea. I'm gonna leave it off. Definitely gonna leave it off permanently. And that wraps it up. Okay, everybody have a good one.